Hi, it's Ronick from Ask Audio Mag here. I'm here with Jimmy from Cakewalk, who's going to take us through the new features of Sonar. Hey, Jimmy, how you doing? I'm doing well. Thanks for coming by. Really appreciate it. Good to be here at NAM. Cool, cool. 2015. All right. Uh, let's let's have a look at uh, what's new in in this new version of Sonar. Sure, yeah. So uh, right now you're looking at Sonar Platinum. We have three new versions of Sonar that just came out. Sonar Artist, Sonar Professional, and Sonar Platinum. So those are the three tiers. Uh, artist is $99, uh, Professional is $199, and Platinum, which you're looking at, is $499. So they all share the same core functionalities, unlimited tracks, unlimited buses. Like even on your $99 product, you're still going to get a, you know, the same audio engine as our Platinum version. So it's a pretty, pretty good deal. Uh, we've also changed up a little bit of our delivery, how we're getting it to our customers. We have a new um, thing called a membership. So it's exactly like before. You can still go to a store and buy sonar, get your box here of uh, wherever that was, box of sonar, but um, now you get 12 months of membership with it. So instead of us updating our software and coming out with a new big version every year, we want to get our customers the latest technology on a monthly basis. So nothing's changed. You can still buy sonar in the same way. You're just going to get monthly updates from us every month. So it's a pretty cool way. Um, and is it right that then um, if you're part of the membership after 12 months, then you would still own the exactly. version of Sonar that you've got? It's not a subscription model. That's why I think pe some people may be getting confused. It's, it has nothing to do with a subscription model. You still keep everything you own. If you don't, you know, if you want to, after 12 months, you don't want to be part of the membership. You don't even have to be a member. Like, you, you don't even have to update, do these updates if you don't want to. So it's just like our traditional sales, pretty much. You're just going to get monthly updates if you want to get them, which, you know, new features, new content. I don't think anyone would not want to get that. Yeah, yeah. So. I mean, for me, it sounds like the benefits of a subscription, but you actually own the software, which, exactly, which is very, very that's cool. That's exactly it. And, you know, now we're, like, not stuck in a time capsule. If you go and buy Sonar, you're, all, you're instantly going to get the newest, latest version. And then for the 12 months of that, you just get the benefit of getting new stuff. So it's pretty cool. And then once that 12 months is up, uh, you have the option to either, you know, keeping everything you own, or you can go down to the uh, renewal price, which is way lower. It's just It's basically like an upgrade. You know, like if you're going to buy, uh, let's just say, for example, Sonar X3 producer, right? And that, you know, we come out with X4, you still have to make the decision if you want to upgrade to X4 anyway. So now it's the same thing. So it's really a cool model. Yeah, we're psyched about it. Cool. Okay, well, let's have a look at some of the, the, the features, of Absolutely, you know, uh, yeah. the marquee features. Yep, so right now you're looking at uh, Sonar Platinum. Um, I, I know we don't have a ton of time, so I'll just go, a few, go through a few things over here. Let me just bring my mouse over here. Um, so a couple things that we've done new with, uh, with Platinum, as you'll see up here, we've got uh, our control bar, which I'm going to hit C to get rid of so you can see what that is. Um, but we've made it now a lot more customizable. Uh, you can scroll. If you see I'm moving my mouse wheel right now, so uh, you can scroll through. You can also, uh, like right here, resize all the mo modules so that they collapse. So you've got a real clean look there. Uh, as you'll see, I'll hover over here, and like all these new features will come out as well, which is kind of cool. Yeah, it's a, it's a lot cleaner look. So, for people that are dealing with a lot of tracks anyway, you know, you've got a ton of tracks. Sometimes you don't want to see a ton of stuff. So we've made Sonar real customizable in that fact, where you can see as much as you want or not see as much as you want, which is cool. This is a really cool feature that I'm enjoying personally as a as a mixing engineer. Um, it's like a um, you can mix scenes is what we're calling it. So you can actually save mix scenes. So before, you know, if you're a mixing engineer, you're in the studio, you've got, you know, vocal down mix, you've got your vocal up mix, you've got all the stuff that you have to do. And what I used to do is you'd have to like re-import a mix and then A, B it. Cause you know, you're delivering, especially when you're working for money, you know, I got people paying you, you really want to make sure that everything's good. So what this does now is you can actually save mix, new mix scenes and uh, you can control and um, you know, what, what, scene, what mix scenes you want to listen to. So it'll remember like all your, so if you want to just have a vocal only mix, you can just solo your vocals and save that mix and then go right back to it and you recall your mixes. So really good time saving feature for, uh, for people on that. We're psyched about it. And I'll just show you like all the, all the parameters that you can actually track controls, automation, track effects, all your buses, all your sense, everything like that. So it's really cool. Um, another really cool feature that, uh, can talk about we've got uh, something called uh, vocal sync so you're a producer nowadays a lot of things as you know are, are doubled right I mean let's not lie you have got a lead vocalist and no matter how good that lead vocalist is sometimes you want to enhance that vocal so you've got a vocal double or if you you know background vocals left and right pan left and right so nowadays we're compressing a lot more 
because compressors are better uh, digitally, and you know the EQ, top air stuff. So once you start getting a lot of stuff going on on that on that level, a lot of like your T's and your S's and things don't line up, right? Like no matter you double something. So what we've got is we've got this thing called vocal sync, where instead of having to go in and manually move all the vocals over, you can just simply, I'll go here, I've got a vocal track up here. Let's take a quick look here. Here's like a vocal lead comp, right? Here's a double. I'll just take it from here. So you hear like the T's are a little bit off there or whatnot. So all I'm gonna do here is just highlight this vocal double track. I'm gonna hit V, this is gonna turn into a vocal sync clip right inside of Sonar, and what this does is this actually conforms this track, which is pointing at my lead track, and it's actually lining up to this guide track. So, it's yeah, it's really cool. I mean, for a lot of people that, you know, are working with vocals on a daily basis, this is a big time saver, right? Because, you know, it tightens up the vocals nice. Once you tighten the vocal up, you just hit render, and you can audition it as well on the fly, which is cool. And then you've got yourself a much tighter vocal. So you can hear how much tighter that is than the other one. So yeah, it's really it's a it's a great feature. I mean, um, you know, no other DAW has this in it, so it's it's pretty cool. Um, let's see, not a ton of time, but one other thing here that uh, I'm just giving you kind of like the things that I'm really super psyched about myself. There's a lot in this new version that people can check out at Cakewalk.com, but this right here is uh, a brand new Pro Channel module. So what you're looking at right here, this is our Pro Channel. Um, it's attached to every, and this isn't new in, in Platinum, but we are known for this uh, Pro Channel module. So every track channel has a Pro Channel attached to it, which is an awesome EQ. You've got you know all this cool stuff, console emulation. But this is brand new. This is a convolution reverb, zero latency convolution reverb. Real light on DSP, which is a big thing, because you know, I mean, convolution yeah. reverbs take up a lot of processing power. Yeah. So with the help of our good friends over at Overloud, we figured out a way to uh, get a convolution reverb that doesn't take up a lot of DSP power, and it sounds absolutely amazing. Um, it's based on their engine from uh, the, the Rematrix engine, which came out, I think, like four months ago. So it's a real new convolution reverb. But it, I mean, it is just super stellar in the, in the sound department. It's like... I'll see if I can give you a little preview here. I think this is going through. Comes with all these impulse responses, but you can also make your own and import other ones in that they have. So that's a big deal. Um, yeah, a lot of fun making your own impulse responses, actually, I know. Yeah, we actually just did that in the studio that we have in, in New York City. Uh, Gibson has a showroom in New York City, and we have a studio there. And uh, good, my colleague, uh, Dan Gonzalez, came in, and they actually sh did their own impulse responses for uh, new members will be receiving this shortly. I don't know if I should say that, but that's one of the things that we're, we're working on, new content for our members, and that's one of the things. So it was pretty cool to watch them do it. I've never done it before, so it's an interesting process. So yeah, that's uh, those are three features. Uh, you know, a lot more to to t to check out. So if people want to just go to cakewalk.com and check out the new platinum, and uh, that's what we got for you. So thanks a lot for coming by, though. Appreciate thank it. You. Yeah. Th thank you very much. Okay, this is Ronick Sethi at uh, from Ask Audio Mag at the Cakewalk booth, looking at the new Sonar. We've not reviewed Sonar before. We've had a lot of requests, and I think now we're going to be on board to review it because I'm pretty impressed with some of the features I've seen.